name is Joe. I'm 12 years old, almost 13. Do you know why, why, why is it you didn't want to come back the first time? You just, you just didn't feel like you were up to it? I just felt like I couldn't do it. it but with Russell, I think it's going to work. We're now going to Dubai. It'll take us about an hour and a half to the uh, area where Russell lives and works. Joe's, Joe's uh, had a huge change of uh, approach to the difficulties of being stuck over here and uh, he's really got his head in the right place now. He wants to go home and it was a bit of a challenge earlier because he's seen lots of different people over here that have had no impact on him. But since he's been with Russell, we had a, a few initial meetings to get to know each other, or for them to get to know each other, and then he started his treatment and he's uh, turned him around completely. I found a way to blow, look like pop my ears. Oh, okay. good. That's good. We're here, number three. Nice to see you. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you. He is a collective approach with Joe. Or well, with most of my clients actually, it's a combination of hypnotherapy, CBT and coaching. I put him through a program we call Freedom From Fear program, which I developed over the last decade. And it uses all those techniques to realign and remove traumatic memories that create these phobias. Joe was great, he really was. Uh, he's been through the mill, you know, because he's been to so many people to try and get help and he's been stuck in the Gulf for, you know, over a year now and I think the parents were losing hope. When I heard about the story, after I first heard it, about it six months ago and um, I remember thinking that it'll get sorted and, and then next thing his father uh, turned up at my clinic door and asked for my help and I just thought I had a moral obligation to help him because uh, I knew how to, to get him home and I knew how to remove phobias so it was just a case of uh, putting him through the programme.